this date tonight. I hope it goes all right. After the last blind date, I wouldn't think you'd want to go on anymore. Didn't you walk out on the last guy? Yeah, but I just don't like confrontations. So every guy you don't like, you're going to figure out a way to walk out on him. No, I... What was I supposed to do, say? Oh, I'm sorry, I have to leave because your apartment is a cesspool and I'm afraid I'm going to get a disease from sitting on your couch. No, you're right. That's exactly what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to walk out without telling the guy. No, Gina, you're supposed to do what everybody else on a date does. Carry out the date like everything is normal and then never answer his phone calls. Isn't that what I did on the other date? I just mm. ended it a little earlier <laughs> than he expected. But I won't have to do that on this date. How do you know? Because I just, I have this feeling. And his voice is like Barry White's. Mm. So we didn't look like Barry White. So have you been to this restaurant before? Nope, what about you? No, I mean you picked it. Like whatever. Thanks. So, John, what do you do? Your advice is a psychic hotline. Oh, you're a psychic? I didn't say that. What do you do? What do you do? Oh, um, I'm a cereal box author, oh, so... this is good. I bet. Fried me some salt. Mm. I'll be right back. Okay. Okay, what should I do? Watch this guy tear into his hamburger like a fat walrus into a, a chocolate cake? First, you're gonna have to work on your analogies. And second, go back over there and do what I told you to do earlier. No, it can't be that bad. You're getting free food. Stay. Okay, fine. But I'm blaming you if my arm gets gnawed off. Bye.